Over village on the Yartel. Uh, this is the uh, the western edge of Micklover in Derby, and um, obviously, as you can see, it's being heavily built on. Uh, in the last five or six years, the amount of building that's gone on in this village is absolutely incredible, and um, I'm sure people all across the country can really relate to that. Uh, beyond them trees, there, there's a farm. And uh, common sense would tell me that if you were that farmer, you'd probably sell that land off to a, to a property developer, and then the process just goes on and on. Because um, this was obviously farmland before, and then the farmer decided to sell it off uh, for many shekels, and um, now this is the end result. Um, and uh, having had a quick look around the village, uh, the area that's been built, you know, it's strange, there's no pubs, there's no shops, no hospitals. It's literally just a massive building. And um, that's the thing, if you prop these things up so fast, there's no time for the infrastructure as well. And uh, you see all that countryside behind this building uh, site, obviously uh, towards Radbourne. And um, yeah, that's it really for that one. Just kind of documenting the uh, the ever expanding urban mass. Right again, and this is the uh, more towards the northwest of the Micklover village, and um, behind the Honeycomb pub, which is just there. Uh, that all used to be green fields, and obviously you can see in the background all the building that's going on. And uh, yeah, and who knows? Maybe it could go further over, over there. Right again, and this is a uh, Greenside Court, uh, which is another massive building site that's gone up in the last five years. And uh, it's literally just must be a good two or three acres that's been built on. And uh, older residents of Micklover Village remember this used to be a little little path that used to go up and on the right hand side you had a rather large um, field that used to be there but um, it leads you all the way down to the train track. Same again, so I'm just looking back on where I've come from and then um, this is heading towards the uh, where the old train tracks used to be. So on the right hand side here was all uh, all fields and uh, I think it connects all the way up to the to the village uh, around Silver Hill and the station road now. So uh, nice view there through the through the bushes leading to Etwell and I think it's probably um, towards Ashbourne if you keep going looking at there. But um, one thing I will say, it's a massive improvement on the on the footpath that's uh, that's here now because it used to be a tiny little cobbled track that used to uh, be on here, barely enough for two people. So and uh, this comes to the end of the um, the building site, uh, just towards the train track, or what was the train track. And uh, going off topic for a minute, just have a quick look around the clover wood. So, um, as you can tell, it's lovely down here. And the uh, train track runs from uh, what was Micklover Station down that way. Let's get a focus to uh, to Etwell down in that way. Uh, and this bit I'm particularly fond of. This is uh, a footpath of a little bridge. And it leads into quite a atmospheric wood and uh, if I can get through this without getting my feet totally soaked and 
and there's a little old wooden bridge here. Obviously very uh, very tranquil and peaceful down here. And uh, in particular, I'm a big fan of this um, this wood here. Which uh, I won't go venturing through to show you. It's a wood at the end of the day. I mean, what you're looking at there will be the same 10 metres in. But yeah, it's a lovely area though. Uh, so just down here we've got the um, so you've got the houses that we're looking at at the beginning of the video on the uh, northern end and then you've got this fence line that's running along so could be potential for another building site going on here um, especially where them fences are going along so it would make sense having all these uh, all these houses sort of interconnected And uh, just come across this at the end of my walk, but yeah, my suspicions were right. So another 1,100 dwellings, buildings going up around New Ars Farm, Atwell Road, and that was dated on the uh, 17th of October 2022. Um, so perhaps there is more building going on coming up soon. Um, there you go. And uh, one of the last ones I do is. Um, this one here is building project still going on, uh, Bramble Gate it's called. I do like how these uh, building projects always come up with things like greenfield sites or uh, blossom trees or something, even though they're just taking over all the fields. Uh, this building site went up 15 years ago I reckon. Um, but yeah, it's just really a never ending expansion isn't it? So I'm just heading uh, south on Station Road now, uh, just to get a different angle of what's going on. So as you can see, still going on, still going up. And uh, all of this was a field only five years ago. And uh, last but not least, this is the northern end of, uh, northern end of Micklover, um, at the end of Station Road. And, um, Over there you've got, uh, and this is a point I was going to bring up, that um, all the villages now are really interconnected. So over there is Mackworth. Um, and uh, Mackworth, Little Over, Micklover, they're all interconnected now um, as it keeps expanding. Uh, it's up to you if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, but um, where does it end is my point. It just seems to be non-stop building. Uh, since 2016 it's really accelerated as well all right all and uh, this is by the water tower at Mackworth um, which would be to the northeast of uh, Michelover looking there you've got Alistry uh, got old Mackworth church by you so in between the two trees bottom right and uh, yeah, all of this is due to go soon. Uh, a massive building project going all the way down to the A52, which is planned uh, for the very near future. Uh, yeah, and like I was saying before, it just where does it end really? Like how much building really needs to go on? It's just relentless. Um, and all this lovely countryside. Uh, I don't think the camera does it just justice, to be honest. But yeah, look at all that lovely countryside. Um, I'll take a walk up there and then see if I can get a, a different angle. Yeah, and just a different angle. Uh, that's going down, um, what's it called? I think it's Radbourne Lane, I think it might be. Uh, but yeah, so basically the idea is to fill this entire field with houses all the way down to where that church is on the A52, Old Mackworth. You see Derby University there. Um, and uh, who knows, I've, I've heard talk about going to be buildings all along the A52 connecting Kurt Langley and um, all the way along there. So yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's 
to a shame, isn't it? Um, admittedly, I was speaking to some people in their 80s there and they were telling me about how they've seen more building going on. So what I would have seen as normal, being born 50 years after they were seeing it, um, is what the generation being born now will see it as. But uh, things are gathering pace and things are definitely accelerating with the amount of building going on. Um, the last six years alone, I think Michelover must have increased by about 10%, 20%. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll finish with a little shot of Derby Cathedral in between them houses just there. Never seen that one before. And uh, from a grey cloudy Derby for today, that's it. Cheers.